Okay, guys, let's continue uh, what we've done so far. Uh, we installed the Ubuntu server on the Intel NUC and we tried the DHCP server and it was working fine. Now we want to have syslog on the server. So for that reason, I need another Ubuntu server. So two Ubuntu servers, one as the syslog server and the other one as a syslog client. And in the end of this video, I'm going to show you they communicate to each other. So one of them uh, already installed on the internet. The other one I installed on the UTM since I'm using Mac with M1 CPU chip. So I cannot uh, use like the virtual box properly. I have UTM and on UTM, I have my the other Ubuntu server, which will be my Ubuntu client. In fact, in this video and Let's see the configurations and let's continue the process. Guys, see this is my UTM. So I'm gonna put it here and uh, I called it my test and test client just to like a simple review about what we did in the previous video. To set the static IP address, we do ETC and then we go to the net plan. Okay, the configurations are ready. Just don't forget that you should be in the root mode. So I would say net plan, apply. Now let's just uh, go ahead and continue. We're gonna SSH and go inside my test Ubuntu, sudo dash s and state. In order to make it easier, distinguish between them this color this dark blue is my test system and this one like the brownish uh, is the server this is the one already has the DHCP server let's start on this one first what is the problem app get update one percent one percent apt apt get install uh, r syslog dash y so it starts to do the job and we come here and do the same command in the other side so apt get r syslog dash y okay so all good. What is the first thing that we're going to do here? So I'm going to just check if we have it system CTL and then enable dash dash now. Then our syslog. It is enabled. So I'm going to go to the ETC folder and then start to change some configurations. Uh, with the same policies. So let's copy rsyslike.conf to rsyslike.conf.backup. Copy in this way. Then I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna just do win to the configuration file. rsyslike.conf. Okay, cool. What do we have here? And what we are going to do we just scroll a little down, everything is good. Here, I'm gonna uncomment this one. This port is for UDP 514. It's for UDP and also for TCP. I'm gonna choose a different port. So you can just leave it as UDP in general are using UDP for our syslog. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show it to you how you can have another like you have your tcp and udp and both working 
I mean, properly with each other, it doesn't matter. And they're not going to interrupt each other. But in general, yeah, our syslog is on UDP. So all good here, all good. And just we need to add one line here. So I'm going to add a dollar sign and say hello. Uh, allow the senders. So allow the sender. So TCP and then uh, 127 like the localhost 001 also 192 168 00 slash sure 27 24 sorry so in this way i'm saying like the allowed senders and i'm saying for the tcp it is the network range and this is my local host then uh, this module load these are the default configurations we are okay with them I mean, I guess no changes at all, all good. So the only parts that we, ch we changed, we just did uncomment this part. So we said that we are allowing which part to be added and just these two and I changed the port and we're good. We can save this one and we can check if it is all good. We do what? We do R sys, we do R sys like D and then dash F etc and uh, the file are sys like the conf dash and one. So if I do that and it says okay, so we're gonna come back to my file. So we say okay, and the last thing is that we should come up with an address. The address that uh, all of the configurations. So in this way, we say we are allowing the network and the ports. However, we should come up with a specific address like the address that all of the data should be saved how are we gonna do that just again a dollar sign and then say it is my template so template remote uh, incoming logs Now we can recheck. To check if everything now is okay, just we check this one and it says okay, everything is good, done. Now we have our R syslog in the master mode. Okay, what else we are going to do? We need to just open the port in the firewall. So via this command, we're going to update the port, UDP, TCP, let's say this is the next command, or again the port, rule is updated, let's see, control V, and let's restart. Okay, so now we're good with the firewall. Our the RC slug is working. In the client part, the only thing that we change is here. So what we said during the configurations, uh, we, were, we were talking about the UDP and TCP. So for UDP, uh, we would use one at sign for TCP two at signs. How we say like, like any data, anything, we can get it from 192.168.0.7, which is our server via the port like this and also for our tcp 
we say like uh, any data at sign at sign so it means like for tcp 168.0.7.5.14 and what will happen when we uh, get disconnected or the like going offline in order to have a script to save we should come up with these lines so let me write them for you it says everything is good we should do what we should try to restart this one like this and then check the status of that then it is running active and it is working so it is good let me try to see if it is listening right now if i do this here and it is saying it is listening on these ports which is good so when we were configuring things we came up with an address so cd var sorry cd var then log so if i do ls uh, we should search for the one that we had on the other side and if i come here and again try to restart my syslog and see how it works status it is running active everything seems good so if i do ls here i mean i should be able to have that thing here there you go we have it here client ubuntu so let's do cd client ubuntu then clear and then ls so these are the only logs that so far we do have but we can do something we can just simply try to ssh to that to see if we are going to get any sort of terminal now we just have this how we can check it we bring this one here and we do ssh to test at sign 192.168.0.8 so it is my local computer let me see what my ip address is ifconfig so i am uh, 192.168.0 so it is my ip address 192.168.0.170 from this which is my local computer ip address i'm gonna ssh to this uh, client 08 and what will happen I'm going to see a log on the server. Like simply just type on the clear. So SSH to test at sign 192.168.0.8. We should be able to go inside. Okay, now I'm inside the test of one tree. And if I do LS here, you can see the ssh like file is just added okay guys here is the list of the things that we did we installed rsys like on both computers on both vms so we have the server one with the client one then we did the configurations on the server one we said you can accept tcp you can accept udp then after that we opened the ports via the firewall uh, and the rules like updated the rules restarted the firewall then after that we went to the client side on the client side there is no need uh, to open any port on the firewall because you open the port on the firewall on the server to let the server to listen uh, there is no listening part on the client side client is going just to communicate the, the data just sending them anyway so we have the ports open on the server side and the client is just communicate communicating sending the data then when we validated all of the configurations are okay and as you saw it was like a live installation uh there are some fat fingers problems i tried to announce all of them like one by one because uh the troubleshooting was kind of time consuming i had to review all of the scripts 
I kind of uh, made them a little fast forward or cut them, but I added uh, like a comment on the window for you to see that. Anyway, and finally, on the last step, uh, what I did, I uh, tried to try to SSH from my local computer with a different IP address to the user. I did it on the client side and on the server side, we had the logs. What is the next step or kind of like the last step? Having a Raspberry Pi, a monitor, and try to see the SSH instead of just doing ls or v into the command to the uh, light file, see everything on a monitor on Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned, see you on the next video, and we're gonna do everything in the next video. Bye everyone, bye.